Titanopsis is a dwarf succulent plant from the Azov family. The genus Titanopsis includes up to 10 species. They are divided into two groups, eastern and western. Eastern species grow in summer and bloom in autumn, while western species grow in winter and bloom in winter and spring period. Titanopsis is a slowly growing plant, with age it forms clusters consisting of many plants. In the temperate zone, care of Titanopsis, regardless of their type, is approximately the same. Lighting. Optimum illumination from March to September, from 10 am to 5 pm, diffused 10 to 20% sunlight. In the period from October to February, the lighting should be the highest possible without any restrictions. After the air temperature is about 30 degrees Celsius, the direct sunlight inhibits the plant growing. Temperature. Optimum temperature is from 18 to 27 degrees Celsius during the day and 10 to 16 degrees Celsius at night. In winter, the optimum temperature is from 5 to 10 degrees Celsius. Watering frequency. During the period of rest, with a strong drying of the soil mixture or about once a month, during the development period, after the soil has completely dried in a pot. The plant was purchased and sent by mail. Usually it goes with a bare root system without any soil. For planting, a sterilized soil mixture is used as for growing cacti. You can find more information about soil mixture in the video right here. A favorable time for planting Titanopsis in the Northern Hemisphere is spring, from April to May. If necessary, planting can be carried out all year round. Transplanting should be carried out in the spring, from April to May as well. This is the most favorable time. When transplanting is carried out, it is very important to choose the right pot. You should remember that Titanopsis is a slowly growing plant. The main method of propagation of Titanopsis is the sowing of seeds. The seeds of the plant are small and are sown on the surface of the soil without dibbling, because germination requires sunlight. The conditions for seed germination are described in detail in the article on our website. The link will be in the description below. The fruit is formed after cross-pollination. A week after sowing, Titanopsis fullery seedlings looked as follows. If you do not have any experience with seedlings, then young plants can be transplanted after one year. We transplanted our plants three weeks after germination. It is worth noting that not all seeds germinate at the same time. We believe that this Titanopsis calcarea is a species feature of the plant because the seeds were sown fresh and germinated under the same conditions. We also conducted an experiment with rooting of leaf cuttings. As a result, only roots developed in one year. I hope you learned something new from this video. Don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel. Also, I want to say a huge thanks to all of the patrons on our Patreon page where we post some behind-the-scenes material and give an early access to our new videos. You can also become our patron if you like. The link is in the description below. I wish you good luck and see you in the next episode.